Welcome to the metagame with Oni Black Mage, continuing Batman Arkham City with part 15, the Bowery. We're starting off the Bowery area right there, dead center, and we're just going to continue just working our way southward. Dropping down from the subway, not that way though. We're going to keep working our way south. If you turn right around near all these spotlights, you're going to see a a building that normally has a lot of armed guards. You may recognize this as also being the same roof that also you fight Deadshot on. On top of this archway here, you're going to find a Riddler Trophy, and a good safe way to get that is grappling onto this platform here and simply grabbing it from a distance with your back claw. Go ahead and do so. We're going to work our way around the building now. You can go ahead and drop down on the opposite side. And if you swoop around here, hopefully you have your mine disruptor ready. Jump on top of this fence and destroy the two closest mines to that breakable wall in the distance. Be still very careful about dropping down to this minefield because as you can see the radius is pretty decent. But fortunately Batman just walks it off. Blowing up that wall gives us another red trophy. Walking right out here, turning around and going back up to street level, of course being careful with the mines. Just go back up here. You're going to find yourself right outside this little Italian restaurant. Sal Maroni's. Snapshot the sign itself and that'll be the riddle. This is another monorail related riddle. What you're going to need to do is get inside that car there with the breakable wall, but of course, like any other breakable wall in midair, you're going to need to descend down and smash through it. So this nearby building will do just a trick, smash through, and there's our Riddler Trophy. This next pressure plate puzzle is another uh, combination gadget one. You see this question mark that I'm gliding towards right here? That's the first one. And it's also tied on this side of the building, just wandering around. That's the end result goal, the Riddler Trophy. But if you walk around the building here, past this dumpster and around the corner, I'm gonna follow the line here, leads up to another Riddler question mark up there suspended on the wall. As usual, when you hit one, you're going to have a few seconds to hit another one, and that's not enough time to hit both. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and apply explosive gel to one. And you can go back and get a good clean shot. The range on the explosive gel is actually pretty good, so you can stay right here. And from here, go ahead and throw a remote batarang to hit the other one. As soon as you hit this question mark, quickly detonate the other explosive gel. See? Whip it out, detonate, and that's that. One more Riddler Trophy. Alright, we're not done with the street just yet. Down the street, a little bit further down from where that question mark we just detonated was, is a big sign for one of my personal Batman favorites, the uh, Scarface Ventral Quest dummy. Someone who I hope at least gets referenced in uh, some of the upcoming DC films, you know, for the Batman ones. I mean, they reference the Falcones, the Maronis, but. Uh, all these other minor ones, and I really would like to see a few more minor cameo references. Anyway, jumping up to the rooftop, outside of where the 
riddle we just solved was, on one side, down south of that block, you're going to see this uh, election poster. Go ahead and take a picture of that for another riddle. And on the north side of the same building, you can go ahead and just uh, get up there any particular way you want. You're going to see another little roof hut, and this is really not anything unusual. Less like many others, just go ahead and just destroy it and collect your prize. leaving the south side of the ACE chemical factory. We're pretty much almost right outside the corrections facility. As you can see there. But drop down, you're going to see that we just glided past another breakable wall. So like the other mid-air breakable wall, get to a good altitude. Take aim and descend down. Pick up another Riddler trophy. Smash the rest of the wall, just for fun. We're just uh, sliding down the perimeter of the uh, forbidden zone, sort of red area. Careful not to get too high or automatic guns will fire on you. Out here in this corner, you're going to see a steam vent protected Riddler trophy. Not too unusual, just go ahead and cap it. dive under. We're going to place ourselves outside the correctional facility. We're not going to go in it just yet. The reason why is because um, we're going to go ahead and actually take care of the first sub area outside the Bowery besides the museum the subway and then we'll go ahead and hit up the Wonder City area but right there under the giant Arkham City logo you're gonna notice right there underneath that sign is sitting right against the wall a riddle go ahead and grab that and like I said we're not gonna jump inside just yet Keep working our way southward. Literally just a little gliding distance away is yet another rooftop hut. This one is uh, cryptographically locked, so go ahead and decrypt it. Unlocks, grab our prize. This next puzzle is a trio of pressure plates that once again you have to hit all three without touching anything else. But don't overthink this one. There's one over here, one to the far corner of the same building, and another one very, you know, tall up. I find that you can actually just hit all three very easily. Just stand on this one, the one in the middle first. Ignore that one for now. If you aim right where I'm aiming right there, and glide up, you're actually going to land right on top of the second one, and simply just glide down to the third one. I suppose an alternative path is to jump on the topmost one, glide down to one of these two, and use the line launcher to hit the third one, but I found this one worked fine. Go ahead and swing down south. We're almost wiping our way back to the uh, museum now. This one is going to require some deft U-turning uh, with the remote battery. You're actually going to have to U-turn twice. 
So, aim your battering, give it some wide berth, U turn, guide down into the first shaft, put yourself a little bit distance in, U turn again, and you're gonna see the adjacent shaft, the second one, you're gonna have to go down on the left, take the curve nice and easy, and there you go. From here you can just turn around and drop down to street level. You're going to see a vault door, just like the other one. This one itself is a riddle. Apparently it locks a behavioral unit. Incidentally, they have the same reference and the models of the crazy psychopath prisoners that, uh, that are all jumpy and in, uh, twitchy, but they you don't actually find any in this game. Right next to the door is actually a sequencer that you can go ahead and decrypt. Opening up the said door, that was just the riddle, just enough for you to duck under and grab a riddle trophy up there on the roof. We're almost making a complete circle back to the front of the museum now. So now I'll go westward now. Just a little just up this building here. We're going to go on top of this roof here, which is just south of where the main museum is, as you can see in the distance. You're going to see an REC puzzle here. This one's not that complicated. The switch, um, the pressure pad I'm standing on right now, switches the position of two doors back and forth. Just make sure to keep them in mind when you're rolling the ball along. Of course, you got to switch up a little bit. And it doesn't really take that much time just to figure it out. tracked and there we go and after this we're gonna go ahead and pause right here and pick it up in the next video go ahead and uh, wrapping up the rest of the Bowery including the inside leading up to the next area so thanks for watching the metagame with me Oni black mage and good gaming